This dude can be really tough. What's going on guys back at it again with another remnant from the ashes video now I know I was officially done with the series uh, Back when I did the story finale of the game However, I like this game so much that I want to continue playing it not necessarily as a story type thing, but kind of like a walkthrough uh, Type gameplay of every single boss found in the game starting with the whole Leto's lab situation so this place is called research station alpha and this is before you get to the other place, which I think is called the Cursed uh, Station or something like that. Uh, and you find an actual end boss there. And he actually rewards you with something that gives you something else, which we'll get to in a little bit. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this. Now, really quick, full disclosure, I've already done this with my character. So I already have the end results and rewards. So I will show you that once it's complete. Uh, but... With that being said, let's just go ahead and complete this. So first things first, you have to come over here, get on this computer, and hit continue. And you want to basically uh, uh, go to the reactor controls and then disable the bypass. Because once you do that, uh, essentially what's going to happen is going to create this alarm situation and every bad guy is going to essentially wake up. So once you do that, you got to be quick in destroying them all. So let's go ahead and start these guys right here are gonna slowly start waking up, which is pretty interesting Watch I'll, I'll just watch him until he gets up. I Think I have to get closer. There he goes And then it's blast away Well, no, thank you you guys can have that Let me go ahead and take all these guys out real quick there's actually quite a few, and if you don't take them out, uh, they'll pretty much overwhelm you. So essentially what you want to do, you want to come on this side. Oh, God. Yeah, you want to take them all out because... Oh, shit. Wasn't expecting this dude here. Oh, fuck. I thought he was going to continue going. Oh, I did that at the wrong time. Let me go ahead and heal that real quick. So first things first, let me go ahead and kill this dude. You want to come to this computer now. Hit continue and disable the security lockdown. And that basically shuts down the alert. But all the bad guys will still be there. So then you want to come over here and destroy this thing. And then come over here. This computer is, I think it's just lore. Uh, you don't really need to get on it or anything like that. Let me go ahead and heal. And then we essentially just follow our way back. Because we now have the key card to get into this room. Just like that. Now we can open it. And immediately after we get in here, we're pretty much going to get attacked once we go downstairs. We're going to get into like this laboratory section. This is, this is essentially Lido's lab right here. They're on the left. On the right and in the room now to my left. Let me go ahead and kill this dude over here too. Oh, he's right here already. Oh, there's another one. There it is. There got their guys are dead. Oh, it's an it's an emulator. Oh, look, there's, uh, looks like one last guy. Okay, that guy's dead. Not even gonna worry about any other loot or anything like that, because I just kind of want to go through this. So, you want to get in here to be able to access the other side of this door over here. Check it out. Right in there, but it's locked. You can't go through there, so in order to get there, you essentially have to teleport. You do that by coming onto this computer and activate the chamber, essentially. And then you go in here, and you're pretty much going to teleport. Sometimes enemies spawn down here while you're coming up here to unlock the door, so you got to be careful. 
Doesn't look like they're gonna come, so that's a good thing. The reason why we want to come back in here, though, is because this is the way to get Leto's armor. And I'll show you how to do that. So you want to come back onto this computer and disable disable Leto's algorithm. This is basically going to, instead of teleporting you to one specific pre-disclosed location, which was right on the other side of the door that we just went through, now it's completely randomized. So every single time you come in here, you're pretty much going to not be able to know where you're teleporting. You're just essentially just going to teleport to some random location. Kind of like this. So it's going to be pretty much sending you to a bunch of different random locations, sometimes to the same place uh, that you've been sent to before. What you want to do is keep doing this over and over and over again until essentially you get to uh, a secret area. And I'll show you once we get there. Uh, but once you get into the secret area, that's where you find Leto's armor. See, we got sent to the same location again. But pretty much you want to keep doing it until you get sent there. And just like that, we got teleported to the right location. You gotta be careful because sometimes there is like one of these root individuals. So you just gotta watch out for them. So right now, let me just kill them really quick. You wanna climb up these stairs and go down this hallway. Because right at the end of the hallway is where you find Leto's armor. Now again, I've already found it before so you won't be able to see it. Uh, but here, let me put it, let me throw it on for you. So you can see it, at least on a female. My male character has this as well. Oh, not the drifters. What am I doing? So it looks like this. It looks pretty solid, man. I'm not going to lie. And it's so heavy that you can actually... You know, it, you don't roll. You just belly flop. But if you have Leto's amulet, which I'll show you how to get in a little bit. Like, after I show you all of this part, you actually... It actually reduces your armor weighting, uh, weight by, I think, 40%. Uh... Just like it says right here, it says reduces armor encumbrance by 40% and stamina cost by 10%. So it's pretty solid, man. Uh, but again, I, it's definitely not for me. You know what I mean? I like to be a gunslinger with this character and that's essentially what she is. But once you get that and you choose whether or not you want to use it or not, you come back up here and unlock this door so you can pretty much go into the next section. As you can see, we're right outside of the teleporting station. So that's how you get Leto's armor, but let's go ahead and complete this dungeon so that we can see the boss at the very end. This boss, admittingly, can be pretty tough. It's one of the bosses that I actually have trouble with occasionally. Because there's so much going on. And I'll show you why uh, once we get there. But you gotta be careful though, because this is similar to like the, the chapel, uh, the subway station or whatever. They like to hide on the top, just like that. So you gotta be careful. I pretty much already have all of Earth's items. I'm not sure if I have all of them, but... But, uh... If I do, I, I, I'm probably just gonna just run and get it anyways, but realistically, man, I'm pretty sure I already have all the items on Earth. I'm pretty much grinding the game with my female character because my male character is already you know trait level 640 have all traits maxed out everything in the entire game uh so there's really nothing else i could do with that character okay so how the hell do i get okay you know what i'm just gonna jump down there we go so yeah my male character is pretty much nothing else i could do with him so I decided to start another character and this time make it a female. So at least I have one male, one female maxed out. You know, that that's basically what my goal is. Die, you root. Yeah, they'll die. I'm not even worried about it. So you gotta look back here because sometimes there's traits or even, you know, items back there. Oh, look. Oh, stop it. 
I could have probably taken him out faster if I would have used some of my summoning abilities. So my build is kind of weird. He's, she's pretty much a gunslinger, but I like to have the the hat so that I can actually get a little bit of mod power in the process. Because mod, mods are pretty, pretty freaking useful, man. I'm not going to lie. These guys are everywhere. Same thing with over here. Sometimes they like to hide like items and stuff like that. So see, just like this. And this is the Pillar of Stone, which I already got. So there's really nothing in this room. It kind of seems like there would be a boss fight here, somewhat. But there wasn't. So let's just go ahead and get out of here. Once we see him, we're just going to shoot this at him. Okay, there we go. That way at least is getting me some XP. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and wait until they're all dead really quick. Okay, it looks like they're all dead. Let's go ahead and go. Alrighty. So, see, this is the curse station. This is where the boss fight is. Alright, so bear with me. This this part can be pretty tough. Not going to lie. Some people can literally breeze through it. I can't most of the time. Only because there's a lot of stuff going on. Most bosses I can beat like nothing. This dude can be really tough. So what happens is that every time you take away a quarter of their health, they essentially morph. Just like that. And they also they also like to heal. That guy in the back, that's what he's doing. So you got to break it as soon as possible. Cuz if you don't, you're essentially letting letting them heal. Ah! All right, I gotta get out of here before I get pinned. Oh no! Oh god! Ah! Let's go ahead and heal really quick. It's always nice to have uh, things that. Do a lot of damage to a lot of people. Oh, shit. No. Ah. Got him. I think we got him. Oh no, it's going bad. Woo! Well, luckily we got him first try, but this dude, as you can see, almost took me out. This dude is tough. But that's pretty much it. After this, you literally just leave the dungeon and that's that. All right, guys, so really quick, before we move on and showing you how to get Leto's or Leto's amulet, I'm not entirely sure what the proper pronunciation is on that. I believe it's Leto, but who knows? I always say Leto. But anyways, I wanted to show you what the drop is for fighting Splitter or the Splitter. And essentially what he does, I don't have like an image of it uh, on my character. So I'm just going to attach it here on the video right now. You get something that looks like that, and essentially what that does is allows you to have the ability to craft a specific weapon mod for your character. So essentially what that does is, uh, right here on the right it says uh, Weapon Mod Flicker Cloak. Once you craft it using the, using the displacement crystals, you're able to craft this, and essentially what it does is that it surrounds the caster with a magical shield absorbing up to 150% of their max health and damage from incoming attacks and prevents getting staggered last 60 seconds so it's a really good thing the only thing about it is that once that 150 percent of the max health is done the flicker cloak essentially just goes away so it does work but it's not 
it, it, it's it's good enough it does its job and if you're doing like a tank build it's actually a really really good idea to have this at least in my opinion but uh i'm curious to know what you guys use it for in your character playthrough so really quick the way the the what it looks like it looks like this i'm gonna show you right now and it creates like this little aura shield thing around your character and it's actually really freaking cool i think it's actually really really cool yeah and essentially that's what it does so let's go over and show you how to get leto's amulet all right guys so to get leto's amulet you have to come either to the sunken passage which if you don't know this is the prerequisite dungeon that you have to go through in order to fight uh, before you get to the grinder, which is where you fight, um, Gorefist, which is a pretty tough fight if you don't know what you're doing, but once you get experience and stuff, know his weaknesses, or not necessarily his weaknesses, but, uh, the way around to fighting him, he's pretty simple. Uh, but, uh, you can either fight, uh, find it here in the Sunken Passage or in the Hidden Sanctum, which is the prerequisite of fighting Shroud, which is another one of the starting bosses. So both of these are one of the first starting bosses you get either or. In this specific situation, I got the Sunken Passage, so I'm going to be going through the dungeon and finding the amulet. So, with that being said, let's go into it and find it. So, basically, uh, I was grinding for a long time just trying to find this. Uh, but I found it nonetheless. And I'll show you exactly where I found it. If you can see on the top right, it's already discovered. And I actually found it right at the beginning, so that's a good thing. So if you progress through the dungeon, it could be anywhere in the dungeon, realistically. But if you go into a room and it has this wall that says, Only the penitent man may pass. So let me kill these guys real quick. So what you want to do is just get up to it, crouch, and walk inside. Once you walk inside, Leto's amulet is literally just going to be hanging out right if yeah, okay, there you go. Right there on the table. Pick it up and you have your amulet. Of course, right here on the side too, there's a little lore thing and I'm actually going to play it for you guys so you guys can listen to it. Small successes, you know, but nothing of real value compared to what came next. Not that that needs mentioning, but if you must Adding the crystal to the equation was the turning point. Uh, harnessing its incredible potential. <laughs> Such hyperbole. It produced miraculous, quantifiable results. Some would call it magic. Uh, those people are imbeciles. Even now, there is as much analysis to be done. I continue this pursuit, and in doing so, will achieve further understanding and the eventual surpassing of root technology. I'm sure of it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think... Yep, that's that's it. That's the entire thing. Uh, so from here on, you basically just want to clear the dungeon and then you can literally call it a day. So with that being said, uh, if this is a video you guys enjoyed, uh, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.